Okay, let us open the Bible. Second King chapter 7. Second King chapter 7. From verse 1 to verse 9. Awo Elisa nayo gera nti muwulire ekigambo kya mukama bwati obwayo gera mukama nti enchabwe bunaba kampegano ekigero chobuta obulungi kirutundi bwa sekeri nebigero bibiri ebya sayiri sekeri mu wankachi wa Samaria awo omwami kabaka gwe yesigamanga ku mukono gwe na damon omusajja wa katonda nayo gera nti laba Mokama bwana kola ebituli mukuru ekigambe echo chandiba chandi yinze se okubaho nayo geranti laba oli kiraba na masogo na yeto liliyako awo waliwo abasenja bana abagenge awayigiranga mu wankachi ne bagamba gananti chichi ekitutuza wano okutusa ale tulifa oba nga tunala obanga Tuna gamba nti tunayingira mu kibuga kale enjala ngeri mu kibuga kale tunafiromo era obanga tunatula wano obutuzi era tunafa kale no mujje tusenge eje lyabasuri bwe bana tuwonya ngabalamu kale tuli babalamu era bwe bana tutta tunamalaga fa olokutano awo nebo agolokoka ekiro okugenda mu lusisira olwabasuri awe batuka ku lusisira olwabasuri lwe lukoma laba nga tewali nga tele iyo muntu kubanga mukama yali awulisiza ekiri abasuri edobonzi lya magali edobonzi lya mbalansi edobonzi lya je elinji ne bagamba gananti laba kabaka wa isiraeli atuwerede ko bakabaka abakiti ne bakabaka abamisiri Okutul, okututabala olu musambu Awo nebagolo kuka nebaduka echiro Nebaleka uwe maza uwe Nebala siza uwe Nendogo yiza uwe Noru sisira ngabwe biyari Nebaduka olu ula mugu uwe olu munana Awo awagenge abo Webatu uka kulu sisira uwe lukoma Nebayingira kulumu Kuwema emu Nebalia nebanywa Nebajamu efeza, nezabu, nebiambalo, nebagenda, nebabikweka. Nebakomao, nebayingira muwema, endala, nebaja omo, nebagenda, nebakweka. Awo, romwenda, nebagamba gananti, tetukola chirunji lero. Tetukola bulunji. Lero lunaku luwa chugambo chirunji na fetusirika. Awo, tunad... Awo, bwe tunali ndidida obude nebucha, tunajirua okubone rezewa. Kale no moje tugende tubulide abo mnyumba ya kabaka. Mpako lumuenda, tusomye. Ye, yeah. uh, good morning once again. Masuza mtiana te. Good morning. Masuza mtiana. Uh, really, we are uh, very happy and thankful before the Lord. Tulibasa nyifunjera, tunokwe baza kunje dukatonda. Uh, especially this week, uh, we had a uh, uh, special a fellowship with our pastor Youngjo Park who came from Korea. And I hope that also you had a, a also listen the word of God from the pastor Johan Kim from Kenya. Uh, were you graceful? And were you thankful in your heart? Uh, so really we believe that what can change our heart and what can change our life. You know, it is not by our effort. Also, it is not by our works. 
We believe that when the word of God came to our heart and when my heart and the heart of God connect, I believe that God began to work in our life. And was God is able to work in our life. Amen. Amen. What about if I come for Sunday service. I can get one million. I think this place is full with people. Is it right? And even full with the gate. I think that only one hundred, I mean, not only one million. Even you heard that. If you attend Sunday service, you can get 100,000. Even 50,000. And so many people will come. Is that right? But the reason why we are not so interested to attend service. Why everybody, they have their own schedule on Sunday? Why they just come to church for mulity? Many people, they do not know the power of the word of God in our life. We may just feel that, ah, just boring. Yes, word of God is good, but the word of God is word of God, and also my life is my life. Sometimes we think like this. Pastor Chet, I cannot hear any monitor volume. So, because in our heart, we do not know how this word of God is important and powerful. Oh, you know, even though I received salvation, even though we are coming for Sunday service, but really, in our heart, if you don't experience the power of God in our life, you lose your interest, you lose your power to come and hear the word of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why really it is very important to have that experience in your heart. So when my heart connect with the heart of God, when my heart connect with the word of God, I can say clearly that God is able to work in our life. Even in your business, even in your school, even in your family, Yes, you can work hard. You can put all your effort to manage well, to do well. But what you can see without his power and his work, really you feel you can see that it's too difficult. But what about in our life? If God is working in our life, and surely God is able to solve all the problems, and God can work in our life. Amen. When? When the heart of God and my heart become one, when, when your heart can be one with God, of course you have to listen. Bible say you shall know the truth. Truth shall set you free. Yes, it is important to hear the word of God. It is important to listen the heart of God. So when we listen the word of God and when 
we know the heart of God. And when I put the same heart with God, surely God is able to walk in our life. Surely God can walk in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. So this time when Pastor Youngju Park was here, he shared about the widow of son of prophet. Yes, we used to listen this word of God. And also I, I share this word of God the other time. But when I listen the word of God, oh, really I was very happy and thankful in my heart. I can see clearly. Really, God has given us that pot of oil. Is it true? But in the heart of this woman, in her house, though there was a pot of oil, though there is that oil in the house, but in her heart it was nothing. Yet we can see that that oil can solve all her problems. That oil can pay all her debt. Even from that oil, they are able to live in their lives. But in the heart of this widow, her opinion was big. And the situation was big. The problem was big. So when our heart is big, we ignore that pot of oil. We ignore that Jesus Christ in our heart. We ignore that word of God in our life. We ignore that salvation in our heart. So really I was able to see clearly. Really there is will of God in our life. There is a promise of God in our life. We have salvation. We have gospel in our life. That Jesus Christ is be with us. Then through Jesus Christ. We are able to serve the challenge and problem in our life. But the reason why God is not able to work in our lives, always we despise that pot of oil. Always we despise the power of Jesus. Always we despise that Grace of change. Yes, you might have a problem. You might have a challenge. But what if, if God work in our life, he doesn't have a power to solve your problem. He doesn't have a power to work in your life. Yet he has a power. But why? He cannot work. Because in our heart, we despise that power of Jesus. We despise that promise of God. Our thought is big in my heart. The situation is big in my heart. And also, our flesh is big in our heart. To come and listen to the word of God. To preach the gospel. To give my time to the Lord. To give my money for self-offering for God. It is very hard in our life. Because in our heart, myself is big. My thought is big. My flesh is big. 
That's why for us, instead of believing the word of God, we believe and trust our thought. Instead of we serve God, we like to serve my flesh. Instead of spend my time for the work of God, we like to spend my time for serving myself. Is it right? Is it right? So that oil, that Holy Spirit, it is very hard to walk in our life. So the reason why God allowed some challenge and problem difficult in our life. So that we may humble before the Lord. So that we may seek His grace, His mercy. So that we are able to receive the grace in our life. Sometimes, brothers and sisters, you put all your heart. Sometimes you are struggling a lot in order to achieve something. You put your heart. You put your effort. But you find that it was nothing. All your effort in vain. Have you ever such experience? experience? But sometimes you couldn't put your heart well. Sometimes you didn't do well. Right? Sometimes you, you, you are not the one who can do well. So, but you find that it is not by your works, really by the grace of God. God solved the problem. Really by the grace of God. God gave you this contract and this opportunity. So really you are able to see that. Or sometimes yet you did nothing. But God opened the way and God helped you. And God gave you opportunity and so many chances. Is it right? Is it right? So that's why. What kind of life do you want to live? <coughs> the life which you are struggling and you are working in your life. Or the life God is working and helping in your life. So that's why Satan continually encourages you. Satan continually trusts you. Make, Make you believe yourself. Make you trust yourself. That's so why instead of seek his grace and his mercy, say to make you to ignore the his grace encourage you to put your effort to achieve by yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that's why even though we are struggling, 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 but we find that really we cannot walk. Brothers and sisters, really I pray Yes, you can study well. Yes, you can work well. But be humble before the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So that your heart may close with the heart of God and grace of God so that God able to walk in your life. Amen. 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 God may walk in your life. Really, I pray for this so that the Holy Spirit may walk in our heart. The Holy Spirit may walk in your life. The Holy Spirit may walk Uganda Church. Really, I believe that you are able to have great joy and happiness in your life. Amen. 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 Also, do you want also Holy Spirit may work in your life? Now, or you don't need? You don't want? Eh? You don't need? You need? 
What if if Holy Spirit work in your life? When you are studying, when you are working, when you are doing business, when you are nurturing your children, if the Holy Spirit may work in your life, God is able to solve our problems. And he can do anything and fulfill his will through us. The first, you must receive Salvation clearly. Amen. 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 Of course, if you are sinner, Holy Spirit cannot be with you. Jesus Christ cannot be with you. Do you agree with me? And some people say like this. Are you born again? Yes, I'm born again. Then what about are you a sinner or righteous? Or righteous. Oh, you are a sinner. Do you have a sin? Oh, yes, I have a sin. Are you holy? Oh, no, no, I'm not holy. Then I'm asking them. Are you in, in, are you in Christ? Yes, I'm in Christ. Then in Christ, is there sin? In Christ... No, no, there is no sin. In Christ, is there holy? Oh, yes, in Christ, holy. Yet in Christ, there is no sin. And it is only holy place. But you say that you have a sin. You say that you have no, you don't, you are not holy. But how can you say you are in Christ? Can you in Christ with sin? If we can say I am in Christ, if we can say I am saved. Saved from where? From sin. It means that I'm free from the sin. Right? Who can say I'm saved? Who can say I'm in Christ? Who can say Holy Spirit is be with me? The people who are righteous. Who received forgiveness of sin. Amen. Those people can say, I am born again. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Are we together? Yes. So listen carefully. First, you must have clear salvation. You must know how. Your sin can be washed away. You must know how you can be righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Second. You must know how the Holy Spirit can walk in your life. God does not walk when you are walking. Is it possible that we can use the Uganda power in the same time we can connect with the generator power? No. When generator is on, no, when Uganda power is on, we switch off generator power. When we put the generator power, when there is no Uganda power, then we connect with generator. Also, when you are walking in your life, when you are trusting yourself, when you believe yourself, when you are walking, how Jesus is able to walk in our life. When we put out my effort, when we surrender to the Lord, so the time Holy Spirit is able to walk for us. Even nowadays, also God teach me continually. All your effort, it is nothing. You surrender to the Lord, so that the Holy Spirit may walk in your life. Amen. 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 Today I read this 
Second King chapter 7. Story of city of Samaria you know very well. You remember? Because this uh, Syrians, they surrounded the city of Samaria. So they failed to come out from uh, uh, they cannot come up from city. But all their food and farm is outside. So that's why it has big challenge in their life. Because in the city, the food is small. But the Syrian, they are waiting these people to come out. So really, there was a big, big famine in the city of Samaria because of this. Are we together? So that's why you, uh, also you remember that in the city also there is incident that the, these mothers, they, they also eat their babies because of no food. So really you can see the, how the situation was so miserable and difficult. So really in the city of Samaria there was no hope. Completely there was no way. Really they reached the point where they eat their own babies. Is it right? So in that situation now verse 1 says this second king chapter seven, second king chapter 7 verse 1 then Elijah said here is the word of the lord thus says the lord tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a sickle and two measure be of berry for a sickle in the gate of Samaria. Awo elisa na yogera nti muulire ekigambo kya mukama. Bwati obwa yogera mukama nti enchabe bunaba kampegano ekigera chobutwa obulungi kiri tundi bwa sekeri ne bigero bibiri ebya sairi sekeri mu wanka wa Samaria. So what you can see now, when you look at the situation of the city of Samaria, really there was no hope at all. Is it right? Really there was no hope. But men of God say tomorrow about this time. So according to the situation, what men of God say it was nonsense. What men of God say it's just a dreaming. It was impossible when they look at the situation. Is it right? Is it right? Also, brothers and sisters, you might have your own situation. Even you have your own experience. What about when you look at your family? When you look at your working place? When you look at this church? Also, you might have your own experience. Our family is like this. Our company is like this. Our, like this. Our, our Uganda is like this. Uh, our church is like this. So you might have your own judgment. You might have your own experience. You might have your own situation. And somehow you conclude in your heart. So according to your eyes, according to your opinion, looks like there is no hope. Isn't it? Is it right? There is no hope. Oh, in Uganda. I'm oh. Uganda. Oh, our family. Uh, what fa Oh, our church. So you might have your own eyes to see. But now, even in the city of Samaria, the situation is the most worst situation. Isn't it? The most worst. They, they reach the point where they eat their baby. 
I think your situation is better than that. Isn't it? Isn't it? Even if you are difficult, even if you say you have a challenge, but I hope that you are better than them. There is the point where they eat their babies. Looks like there is no hope. But what man of God said? Tomorrow about this time. Fine flour be sold a second. Two measure of berry of the berry for the second. So, so that word it is completely nonsense in that situation. Is it right? It was nonsense. It was impossible. So that's why what, what, what this man of men say. Yes. Verse two. Then a lord on whose hand the king's land, king's land answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord would make window in heaven, might these things be? And he said, Behold, thus shall see it with thy eyes, but shall not eat thereof. Or walk over the Rugamanti. I will omami Kabaka Goyesiga Manga, Kumukono Gue, Nadamum Sajawaka Tonda, Nayogera and Tiraba, Mokama, Buanatsa Ebituli, Mogoro, Echigambecho, Chandi in the Sokobao, Nayogera and Tiraba, or Richiraba, Nama Sogo, Naye Toliako. Or listen, Molidize. Now, the way how this this, um, how can I say, this officer on, in Korean, Korean version Bible says minister. I, I don't know in, in Luganda. Also minister. minister. Yes. Mm. So I think that is in high position. No. But I think you understand the way how he say like this. So, because what man of God said, it was totally different from their situation. Is it right? Is it right? Totally different. If the Lord would make window in heaven, what about brothers and sisters? Don't you have this kind of heart? What about in your heart? Even though we are coming to church, even though we are serving God, yes, even though we go to church, but many times we are living like this man. Because for us, we have our own experience. Isn't it? Is it right? For us, we have our own experience. For us, we have our own eyes. We have our own judgment. So for us, always, we look at with our own judgment. This, even though we listen to the word of God, even though there is a promise of God, even though there is the will of God in Uganda. Even though there is a plan of God in Uganda. Even though there is a promise of God. But many times we despise, we ignore that will of God, that promise of God. Right? And what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What these people do? They only abuse in front of the word of God. They despise the word of God. They don't do anything. Is it right? 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 Just sit down. They fear. They worry. They complain. It's 
still they will say, I'm still waiting the will of God. They still they will say, I'm waiting his grace. They will say, still I'm praying. Still I'm seeking his grace. Without believing the promise of God. Without denying their thoughts. Without believing the will of God. Just they will pray. Just they wait behind. That is the way how we used to live. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, uh, the reason why the Holy Spirit cannot work properly in our life. So, even though you are coming to church, but instead of you are happy, instead of you are you, you, you see the power of God in your life. But the reason why, the reason why we don't have that happiness, why we lose power, because most of the people, they have a same heart like this minister. Even though we know Jesus Christ died on the cross, even though we know that oh, we are righteous, even though we are coming for service, even though we are giving tithes and offering, but deep in our heart, 100% we don't believe the promise of God. Many times we believe situation more than the promise of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? We don't believe the promise of God. We don't believe the promise of God. You see verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. There was four lepers men at the, the entering in the gate, and they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? A wali wo abasajja bana abagenge awayege ranga muwankachi ne bagamba gananti chichi tutu chichi echitutuza wano okutusa retulifa Verse 4 if we say we will enter into the city then the famine is in the city and we shall die there and if we sit still here we die also now therefore Come and let us fall unto the host of the Syrian. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall but die. Orokuna, awo, awo, ngatu, obanga, tuna gambanti, tuna yingira mochibuga, kale, injala ngeri mochibuga. Kale tuna firomo. Era obanga tuna tula wanobutuzi. Era tunafa. Kale no mujetu senge ejeri abasuri. Bebana tuonya nga balamu. Kale tunaba balamu. Era webana tuta tunamala gafa. Oh, really, I'm, I was very happy before the Lord. Mbadam sanjifunyeri katonda. Or oh, really, even our life is like city of Samaria. Really, there was a lot of problem. There was great sorrow in that city. Brethren, do you know the reason why also they were in that challenge? Because, because of time, I cannot explain in detail but that king of Israel, they ignore God and his servant. So the, the challenge came because from that point, when they ignore him, 
You know, the city of Samaria is full with challenge and difficult and great sorrow. Completely there was no hope. So really for us also we understand that minister's word. Because also that is the way how we used to live. But amazing thing, there was promise of God. There was will of God towards our life. So though there is a minister who again is the promise of God with their own thought and experience. But also there was full lap. For lepers who are despised, who are miserable. So, you know, the sickness of these lepers, that time they feel that they are cursed. So, even they fail to be inside of city, they stay outside of city. Isn't it? And then they only survive with the food what people they give. The problem is, the problem is, also, these people, they are in challenges. That's why they have no food to give them. Brother and sisters, the time they are discussing, some of them say, let us wait. Some of them say, let us move. Let us go to Syrian base. Surrender to them. If they kill us, we die. But if they saved us, we survive. Because if we wait here, we are dying. Though my flesh want to remain. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your flesh, my flesh, all same. Because our flesh, we don't want to challenge. Right or not? My flesh, we like comfortable. Our flesh, we like joyful things, safe things, comfortable things. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why always guidance of church is different from your opinion. Because, because your opinion, the way how we are thinking, always we are thinking from where? From my flesh. We are thinking from my flesh. But church is different. Because my thought, we want to go more comfortable way. How my flesh is more comfortable. But church is always pushing us into challenges. Church always pushes us into difficulties. Do you understand what I'm saying? So he's always fighting. Now these four lepers. Four lepers, by the help of the Holy Spirit, they decide to come out from their comfortable zone. To come out from where they were. It looks like it is more comfortable and is more safe in our eyes. But I believe that by help of the Holy Spirit, though in the beginning they are arguing, 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 but the help of the Holy Spirit leads them to go beyond their challenge. Beyond their limit, always 
God is working beyond our limits. But the people who are led by your flesh try to hold. Don't, don't do this. Don't, 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 don't go where you are going for dangerous way. No, 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 no. Just, just, just comfortable. Your Holy Spirit lead you. No, let us go. Let us go. Even though we will die. If we just wait, we will die. Let us take a step. Let us move. That is the voice of Holy Spirit. But our flesh voice. No, 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 no. Why, why do you challenge yourself? Yet we are here. Is the same. Why you are going to die? You will be difficult. You will be suffering. No, no, no. This sword is fighting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes also you are fellowship together. This two heart is a fight. The people who is close with the flesh continually speaking according to human eyes. Why you challenge like this? Why you go for suffering with this? Why do you do like this? Just, just live like this. Don't but, but challenge yourself. To where do, 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 don't make you in difficult. To where to just, just. A, it sounds good in human eyes. But Holy Spirit is not happy. Do you understand what I'm saying? What we can see. Waiting. It is not a safe way. Just wait. People will help us. No. Only death is coming. Are we together? Where are you? Do you want to just wait? We just wait? People help me. Hey, these people will help me. Wait. It looks comfortable. Why? Why? Why it looks comfortable? Right now, you don't need to challenge yourself. You don't need to put yourself into difficulty. You don't need to put yourself into trouble. Just wait for people to help me. It looks more safe. But you must know if you are waiting, you will die. You must die. Spiritually die. Physically die. Though it looks burden. <sighs> difficult. Stressed. Tiresome. But if you put yourself and move forward, Though you cannot see the way right now, but God has a plan. When you come out from your comfortable job, and when you move forward by faith, that time you will see the great power of God. Amen. Amen. That's why when you are in fellowship, even in your family, even in this church, when you are fellowship, it is very important what is leading our church. The mood of flesh is leading us or mood of spirit is leading us. If the mood of flesh is strong in our church, even though Good News Mission Uganda become 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, we are still weak. Still weak. Still weak. But if the mood of spirit is leading us, not everybody is looking at themselves. 
not just keeping their safe zone but move forward go beyond their limits challenging themselves if they move by faith if this mood of spirit is leading us you will see big change in this place even in your family even in your life. But very few people they have this heart. So still spirit is weak. But I'm happy slowly by slowly this heart is a little bit lazing and raising and raising. I pray that all the mood become spirit so that you can see clearly how God is working in our life. Amen? Amen? Don't wait. Just wait it looks more comfortable. But that is the way of death. Let us move forward. Amen? Amen. Move forward. You will see how God is working in your life. Amen? Amen. I pray also, brothers and sisters, right now who doesn't have a job, don't just wait. If you don't have a job, don't just wait some other people can help you. You take a step. Do you understand? You also develop yourself. You continue to study. Oh, Pastor, I don't have money. Then you're looking for the place where they can study without a lot of money. Are we together? So you can move forward. Even you can develop yourself. Also, you can move forward. You can look for the job. Amen. Even you get a good job. Good salary. Nice job. Not for your flesh desire. For his kingdom. For his righteousness. Some people say, oh, pastor, I tried. How many companies did you apply? Yeah, I, I applied, you know, 50, 50, over 50. You apply over 500. And, and then you say you have tried. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah? If you have enough experience, then you start business by faith. Amen? Amen? Move forward. Don't just wait behind. Move forward. Amen? Whatever you do, you do by faith. You remember last time, put down net at thy word. So there is a people who just sit behind. There is a people who put down the net at his word. Some people might say, all night I try, but I catch nothing. But now I will put down net again at your word. So I say to you, let us put down the net at his word. I don't want to to come to this place just your just religious mind I want you to come to this place by faith Amen is it right also we can give offering and tithe by faith also you witness you preach the gospel Amen you Preach the gospel by faith. Are we together? Are we together? Brothers and sisters, whatever you do, let us do by faith and move forward. You will see how God is working in our lives. Please today remember just wait. You will die. 
Don't just wait, someone will help you. No, God say to us, let us move forward. And surely God will walk for us. And now when they walk, of course they fell down. Of course they are not smart. Isn't it? They, they are not walking smartly. They are not many. They are few. They are fell down. Miserable. But when, you remember when they are walking it is not by their will it is according to the will of God it is according to the promise of God so please remember your journey your walking it is on the will of God on the promise of God. That's why even though it looks miserable, but God is walking through these four miserable lepers. Sometimes when I look at myself, sometimes it looks miserable. We are not many. We are not so smart. We are not so well educated. We don't have many people who is rich. We don't have a big congregation. Even we don't have a very humble people. Everybody is having right opinion. Why our church is like this? Why is everybody having their own stubbornness? We have we are not also so well educated. We are not so so rich. We are not so many. And also our headquarters is not supporting. We have to survive ourselves. We are trying. But whenever we look at ourselves, we are looks miserable. Look, some, sometimes we don't have a hope. Sometimes we are tired. You know, one of the students whom we trained, recently he stole our church camera. The other time you saw one camera was here, right? You saw another camera was there. He took three cameras. Surprise. But this time we discovered even though these people they stole our church camera but they failed to steal the promise of God in our church. Will of God in this church. Plan of God in this church. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Still it is there. So sometimes when I look at myself, <sighs> challenges there, difficult there, we are few, we are lacking, not many people who are serving the church, not many people who are giving the offering and tithes, not many people who is a witness, not many people who preach the gospel, not many people who come for Sunday service, not many people who are having the area service. But, but, Weed of God is in this place. Amen. 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 Though we fell down, though we we have no power, but when we take a step, when we move forward, the Lord will work for us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So important thing is, what you have that is not important. Believe his promise and continue to move forward. Though we make a mistake, though challenge is there, accident is there, problem is there, but when you are in the will of God, God changed that mistake into a Great power of God. Amen. Amen. Israel, the Syrian soldiers, they listened to sound. The, but God changed that miserable sound into the great 
army and chariot. So all these people, they run away. Hallelujah. When they reach there, when they reach there, amazing thing, no one was there. Is that right? No one was there. Amen. Amen. God used the full lepers to chase away all the Syrians and this bring the new hope to the city of Samaria. And God saved the city of Samaria through these four lepers. Amen. Amen. So amazing things. Amazing things. When they went to there. They are enjoying eating. But what they say, while they are eating, verse 9, verse 9, then they said one to another, we do not well, this day is the day of good tiding, and we hold our peace. If we tarry till the morning light, some mischief will come upon us, now therefore come, that we may go and tell the king household. So now they're enjoying. Isn't it? But another Holy Spirit informed them. Another heart is arising in their heart. What about? Yet God has given us this blessing. But if we keep quiet, God will punish us. So many people in the city of Samaria, they are suffering. So now these people, they move. They went to the city of Samaria. Amen? Amen? With what? Good news. Isn't it? Good news. What is good news? They have to go, they have to, go to the city of Samaria. They want to deliver the good news. So what is good news? What is good news? There is no soldier. Hallelujah. That is good news. Listen carefully. In the heart of the city of Samaria. Every day, every day, suffering because of Syrian soldiers. Isn't it? Because of soldiers, they cannot go out. That's why they are hungry. So what about they would pray? God, give us grace. Please remove the city of Syria. Remove the Syrian soldier. Isn't it? Every day, every day they pray. God, please remove the Syrian soldiers. We are done. We pray every day, every day. Is that right? Yes, that is their prayer. But by the grace of God, God, through the full lepers, God chased away all the Syrian soldiers. Is that right? So let me ask you. Is there a soldier or there is no soldier? Is there a soldier or there is no soldier? Ah, your voice is very cutting. Ja, let me ask you again. Is there a soldier or there is no soldier? There is no soldier, right? But what about? In the heart of the city of Samaria. Is there a soldier or still there is a soldier? Eh? There is a soldier, right? So yet, God chased away all the soldiers. But in the heart of people of the city of Samaria, there is a soldier. Why? 
Why? They didn't listen good news. Are we together? Are we together? So let's say they pray for 40 days without eating. They pray. Then then soldier can disappear because they follow remove the Syrian soldier so they pray every day even they don't eat with the fasting they pray remove then the Syrian soldier can disappear no it is not like this what do they need how Syrian soldiers can disappear. They need good news. This is gospel. When these four lepers came to the city of Samaria, what they should shout, there is no soldier. Hallelujah. The time they believe in their heart, there is a time Syrian soldiers disappear appear in their heart. Are we together? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? In the same way, 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, he took away the sin of the world and he died on the cross and washed away all our sins. Is it true? Is it true? Is it? Your, your voice is very bubino. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> true. <laughs> but many people <laughs> they do not know. Isn't it? Then what is good news? What is gospel? What do we say to them? There is no sin. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 To tell them this is gospel. Hallelujah. Amen. Is it true? Pastor Park said to us, preach the gospel 10 people per day. How many people? How many people? Are you going to preach? Are you going to preach? Yet you know the truth. Yet you listen to the gospel. But if you keep quiet, God doesn't help you with you. Let me ask you our women's ministry. Are you going to preach the gospel 10 people per day? I don't want to say name, but some of you, some of you, sister. <laughs> Whatever you say, God will do it. If you say yes, God will make you yes. If you say no, no. Brothers and sisters, whoever you meet, you say, even, 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 even in the in the taxi, isn't it, sister? You are blessed. Oh, why, why, why? Do you know what? Your sins are washed away. Brothers and sisters, this is gospel. It doesn't need one hour. It doesn't need a ten. Even 10 minutes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though you are on the Boda Boda. Hey, Boda Boda man. Do you know what? Even your sins are forgiven. Amen. Amen. When you preach the gospel, 10 people. So all of you, if you open your mouth and you speak the good news, Really, your heart will be so happy. And then the Holy Spirit will work properly in your life. And the Holy Spirit will work in Uganda church. And God solve all your problems. God will provide a great joy and happiness in your life. I'm sure 
Do you know why? That oil, what we have, can solve all your problems. What was the problem of our Uganda church? Do you know what was the problem of our Uganda church? We are weak. We are small. We don't have money. It is not like this. We trust ourselves too much. That's why the word of God was small. Our thought was big. That's why we despise that pot of oil in our heart. And then just sit behind and remain. But from now, let us repent before God. Amen. Amen. Repent before God. Put down my judgment. Put down my thoughts. Believe. There is a will of God. So that when we move together, move forward and preach the gospel, surely God will work for us. Say amen. 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 Even though today you listen this message, but some of you continually holding their thoughts. Even though pastor you say like this. But our church problem is this, this. Because our problem is this, this. It is not like this. I want to say to you. I want to say to you. Behold. Thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shall not eat thereof. Do you understand what I'm saying? You will see in your eyes that glory cannot be your day, Lord. Because today you despise this word of God. But if anyone before the word of God we repent our heart and believe this word of God and now no matter how you live before but today if you move forward and preach the gospel and surely God will work in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Really, I hope that all of us we move forward according to the promise of God, according to the will of God. Amen. Thank you so much. We finish here.